Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Tamara. I run the beauty and travel blog, loverofshades.com. Welcome back to my channel. And if you haven't already, I encourage you to go ahead and subscribe and then hit the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I drop a video, which I normally aim to do twice a week. Today, I'm going to be doing a makeup look featuring a palette that I have been waiting to come back on sale and it finally did but I believe it's her last hoorah and this is the colored rain safari palette the colors are so pretty and they're so pigmented and I'm going to try my best to use as many colors as I can from the palette on today's look I actually think I did a pretty good job but you guys could judge for yourselves during the tutorial and I also am going to be featuring a lipstick that I have for a few years now but I never really got around to wearing it but the color is so bomb and this is by Mentic Cosmetics. The color is brown, brown bear. Yes, brown bear. I just wanted to make sure I got it right. So if you want to get a look like this or something similar, also these are both black owned businesses, then stay tuned and I got you. Hey everybody, let's get started. So first we're going to take our Hydro Grip Primer and this is by Milk and we're going to apply this all over the skin like so. This is especially helpful for if you have oily skin. Next we're going to take a powder by Black Opal. This is in the medium. This is a finishing powder and I'm applying this all over the face. Now please be, please keep in mind that I already done this tutorial. This is on how to achieve glowy skin. I put this video out last week I believe. So I'll put a link for that towards the end of this video. Next, I'm going to take my LA Pro Girl Conceal, and I use this actually as a color corrector, and this is in the shade orange, and I'm applying this all over anywhere I have unevenness or hyperpigmentation. Next, I'm going to take my liquid foundation. This is in the shade Campala by Juvia's Place, and with my Expert Face Brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to apply this all over the face as well as some parts of the neck. Next, I'm going to take my concealer. This is the I Am Magic in the shade 12, also by Juvia's Place, and I'm going to apply this strictly underneath my eyes, and later on, I'll put that down the bridge of my nose as well. Now, off camera, I went ahead and applied my contour, and I used the Rich Honey Foundation Stick by Tarte, so now I'm simply blending that out with my fan brush. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and blend out my concealer. So I'm just taking a beauty blender or also a beauty sponge. I got this one from TJ Maxx and I'm just blending it out. Next, I'm taking my Black Opal Medium Finishing Powder again. And with my powder brush, I'm just simply setting everything that I applied thus far onto the face. Next, I'm taking the color Sola and B, and this is the Juvia's Place of Hair and Volume 2 palette. And with the Kabuki brush, I'm applying this strictly on top of the cheekbone. Next, I'm taking two highlight powders. The first one is by Anglola by The Crayon Case. The second one is Whisper of Guilt by MAC Cosmetics. And I'm applying this on top of the cheekbones as well as down the bridge of my nose. Next, I'm going to move on to eyes. So I'm going to take the Rumor 3 Eye Prep, and this is by P. Louise. And with my concealer brush, I'm going to apply that all over the eye. Moving on to my Safari palette by Colored Rain, I'm taking that color Clay, which is like a very neutral color. And with my blending brush, I'm going to apply this strictly into the crease. Next, I'm going to take that color Congo Basin, and this is a really pretty green color. And with, you could use the same blending brush or even a detail brush. I'm applying this strictly into the inner portion of my eye. Now I'm going to return back to my eye base by P. Louise in the color Rumor 3, and I'm going to do a half cut crease. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you should have the shape down. Moving on to my Beauty Rest palette, also by Color Rain, I'm going to take that color Natural, which is very similar to clay. It's just a little lighter, and you could take a blending brush, and I'm focusing strictly on the middle of the lid. Now I'm going to go back to that Congo Basin and with a small detail brush, I'm just going to reapply the little bit of pigment that I had lost when I did the half cut crease. Moving on to Green Valley, this is a shimmer shadow in the color green. I'm going on top of where I put the Congo Basin just to give it more of a pop. We're only focusing on the inner portion of the eye. We're not extending this out to the rest of the lid. Now I'm going to take that color Matriarch and this is like a deep brown color. It's kind of like a rust color. And with a small blending brush, I'm focusing strictly on the outer V just to give it shape and dimension. 
Now I'm taking that color jungle. This is a really deep green or like a forest green color and I'm applying it strictly on top of the matriarch and I'm just blending it out. Again, this is to give depth and contrast to the eye. Now I'm just simply filling in the colors and just blending it out to avoid or to diminish any demarcation lines. Now I'm taking that color lioness. This is a really bright gold color. And with my detail brush, I'm strictly putting this onto the inner tear duct. And this is to give the eye another extra pop. Next, I'm moving on to the colors Tigress and Jungle. And with that, I'm going to take my detail brush and just apply this on my bottom lid underneath my waterline. Now, I apologize about not showing the Tigress, but by this point, my eye was so irritated and watery and my lash was just all over the place. So at that point, I just gave up. <laughs> Now I'm taking this color Brown Bear. This is a lipstick by Mentic Cosmetics and I've had this for a while. I really, really like this color and I'm going to use this as my lipstick for today. Now I'm just taking a deep brown color by NYX. I'm gonna put it in the description box because I don't have it on the top of my head right now, but I'm just using this as a liner. This is just to give the lips more of a pop and more definition. And this is the final look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Again, I apologize about the wonky lash. Y'all could drag me in the comments or something like that, but your girl was tired. But anyway, catch my final thoughts in the next frame. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions as always, please go ahead and drop them in the description box below. I'm gonna have a separate tutorial for this hair, this Afro chic hair, and I actually have this behind my ear, but I can even put it out. There's so much things you could do with this hairstyle. So I wanted it kind of wild because it's a safari palette. So, you know, I said this would be perfect. This would be a perfect look for it. But either way it goes, if you want to have learn how to do this hair, or get a hairstyle similar to this, I'm going to put a different link in the description box if I have it available by then. If not, check it out. It will be coming up soon. Um, while you guys are subscribing, go ahead and follow me on social media. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and about to say Instagram again and Twitter at the username Lover of Shades. By the time you guys get this video, my blog should have already been back up. So go ahead and check out my blog, which is loverofshades.com. And until next time, take care. God bless. Love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.